Right, hello folks, just going to film another load of golf balls. I think there's 128 here that I bought from somebody in America. So not only did I have to pay the price of um, buying these 128 logo golf balls, I also had to pay postage from America, which was quite a lot. And then customs hit me with a big charge as well. So it adds up. Anyway, I'm just going to get straight to it. I'll film each and every logo. I'm not going to take as long as I normally do. I'm just going to film them. Normally I talk about each logo and show you each golf ball and I'm just going to show the logos in this video. I don't feel like showing every golf ball today. Tasmanian Devil. That's not a cartoon. There's a few religious ones. Okay, that was the first line. Second line. Kemp Pendleton and I chose these myself it wasn't like this was a collection of 128 golf balls I had to buy these were all individual golf balls it took me absolutely ages to choose them from somebody that has loads of logos in America um, I can't remember there was one person I've been buying from that had something like 5,000 separate auctions and looking through those, my God, I can't even begin to explain how much time that takes to look through thousands of listings of something on an auction. Um, anyway, I, these are some of the ones I picked. I bought another box of logos off the same person. So this is 128 from one person. I think from the same person I bought another two or three hundred. So um, Intel Core 2 Duo, I'm sure I had one of those in one of my older computers. Intel has now got serious competition from AMD, the other company that makes uh, semiconductors. Okay, that was the third line. This is the fourth line. These are sports ones. If anybody knows which one, what teams these are, let me know. Unfortunately, they don't say, and I'm not a huge fan of American football, etc. So um, some of the ones that are just helmets like that, I wish they'd printed the name of the actual team on them. So tell me if you know what that is. I bought some, um, um, some, some of the teams I know that are American football. I also bought some that are baseball teams. Jimmy Johnson Foundation, he, I know him. Not only have I seen him in American football, he was on Survivor, the American TV show that I like. Okay, so some sports teams. Next line. Yeah, there's a few religious ones. I think that must have been a religious pet. I didn't buy those deliberately. I think there was just someone was trying to get rid of them, so they gave a reasonable price on a bunch of um, religious ones like that. I didn't deliberately pick those. <laughs> Raid off. I just thought that was a funny logo. And again, some of these ones I just bought simply because I like the logo. I like the ones that have wildlife on them. So, I mean, I don't know anything about Port Douglas. Um, Great Barrier Reef, so that is a good logo to have, but... Some of them I chose because I know the businesses. A lot, um, I'm into aviation and military aviation especially. So any that were military aviation I've got like that. With a picture of a fighter jet on it. Patriot Golf Day. I'm also into motor racing. Uh, particularly Formula 1 and IndyCar. But also occasionally I watch a NASCAR race. So anything that's related to um, motorsport. I, I think that's a sports on that one. Anyone knows what that team is? Let me know. That looks like a fleur de lis but I'll just have a quick look and that's on a unbranded golf ball so that is if anybody knows what that is let me know medicine ones for some reason I bought that I mean I've got absolutely no idea what that medicine is but I bought that because I like the logo I've got no idea about Denver what does that say Denver Nuggets I think what, what is that New York I've been to New York love it Oh, that one's the wrong way around. Excuse me, moi. DuPont Motorsport. Yeah, they sponsor a NASCAR team. Uh, what's that one say? I like that one because it's a cable car. They call it... What does that say? Mount Roberts. Oh, I can't see what the race is that. Wow. 
what does that say? They've got black writing over black. That doesn't help at all, does it? Tram. Maybe it's way tramway, maybe. And then something Alaska. Oh, Juno, Alaska. I watched quite a few programs about Alaska on the Discovery Channel, so I like Alaska. Raytheon, uh, military stuff. Timberwolf, Juno, Alaska. I believe that's some sort of resort, and I might have seen that on a TV show where they do that sort of undercover boss thing. Um, terrible show that is, Undercover Boss. Where someone pretends to be an employee, but they're actually the boss of the company. It's so contrived and, oh, it's awful. And they always just choose to make one employee's life really good, give them loads of money and approach and everything. <laughs> All the other employees don't get anything. So it's, it's a completely stupid TV show. Anyway, Old Olympics logo. I'd like to know more about that. I think that's NWB. Does anybody know what that is? I've got no idea what that stands for, but because it was Olympics, I bought that one. I like that logo, so I've got that one. Phillips Whirlpool, make uh, washing machines and stuff like that. Oh, that's another Olympic one. Kleenex brand official supplier, so there must be yeah, another logo. You've got that on the other side of the same ball. Okay. So that was on a Nike ball, nice. Coca-Cola, lots of sugar. Again, I like that logo because of the duck on it so never been to minnesota wouldn't mind having a look tyson that's a food brand in america i've seen that on trucks and stuff yeah, all right next line uh apple pie liqueur i just thought that sounds interesting apple pie liqueur i wouldn't mind trying that satcom not sure anything not sure about that some sort of medicine I don't know why I bought that one, by Jen, don't know. Anybody know what that is? What's that heart? It's like a heart shape with three different colours. Ah, and on the other side it says 6.25. What on earth does that mean? What is that? What is 6.25 and that? And it's got an R for registered trademark, but what is that? I'll put that one aside as maybe to look up myself sometime. Uh, UPS, United Parcel Service, obviously competing against FedEx. Oh, that one's upside down. So what does that say? The Battleground at Deer Park. Again, I like that logo, the Canon picture, so I bought that, bought that one. AAA, uh, is it American Automobile Association or something like that? In England, we've got the AA. In America, you've got AAA. Same sort of thing, help you if your car breaks down somewhere. And they're good. When I was in America, they're very good. If you are a member of that, you can go into one of their offices and they give you loads of maps for free. Malaysia Airlines, they still haven't found MH370. The Boeing 777 that crashed a few years ago off the coast of Australia. But now there's a new technique to find planes using some sort of radio waves that go all the way around the earth. And they reckon they can pinpoint exactly where it is. So um, that would be brilliant news if they do find it. And by all accounts, it sounds like the pilot did it deliberately. I've always said that from the start, to be honest. So. Alright, what on earth is that? So that's tiny writing. Ah, Veterans of Foreign Wars of the United States. Ooh, that's why I bought that one, military one. Very nice. Pitney Bowes, I've seen that on many boxes of stuff I've bought from America. So there's some sort of shipping company. I presume Buick car make Snake Eyes is the actual seems to be the make of the ball. Um, for some reason, that was advertised for sale as a logo, but it just seems to be the actual ball. But anyway, that's a new one to me. I've never had that one before. That's very unusual. Uh, Liberty Island I've been to, New York City I've been there, K-Swiss, I think that's a uh, watch brand I think, okay that's that line, not too many more to go folks, about another 38 or so to go, 
that's a really nice logo, nice big printed steamboating American Queen, that's nice. Huge great steamboat. Corbell California Champagne, I bought that because obviously who doesn't like champagne, but I've never heard of that brand. Boeing, the huge aircraft company. I've somehow started talking about the logos, haven't I? But again, I'm not taking anywhere near as much time as possible. Frito Lay, I first had those when I went to America. Um in Washington State, so potato chips, what we call crisps in England. Dick's Sporting Goods, they sell all kinds of sporting stuff. Tigger. And uh, I've just seen in the last few days, there's uh, some, some so I think it's in America, some Beauty and the Beast, which is a Disney cartoon with a white, slim, good-looking person. Some theatre company has decided to make beauty as um, a fat black fairly ugly looking woman i mean it's just absolute nonsense they've got to be doing it deliberately to get publicity it's just i think these people that do these sort of things should be locked up for doing that it's ridiculous just think how offended people would be if if somebody decided to make a film about say martin luther king and got a white actor to play him you know it's, it's that level of stupidity that's going on in the world and it shouldn't be allowed Koalas. <laughs> Don't run over a koala, folks. Cute little animals. I got that because of fossil logo and I'm into fossils. I've got a few myself. Um, fossil Creek. I'd have to find out where that is. That's interesting. Where on earth is Fossil Creek? I'll put that one to the side for me to look up later. That's two I want to look up. Hawaii. Looks like a lovely place. I would like to go there sometime. Uh, that's NASCAR. Wallace, something Wallace, what's his name? Dusty Wallace, maybe? I've got any of the ones I spotted that were to do with NASCAR, anyway. Point Blank Pictures, well, that sounds like a film company, but there is, there is actually a film called Point, no. No, I think there is a film called Point Blank, but anyway, Point Blank Pictures, I think that's some sort of smallish film studio. It's not one of the big players, anyway. What does that say? Train the way we fight. Oh, F-16. Nice. And then MTC, whatever that is. Uh, only about 18 balls to go in this particular collection. Another medicine. Don't know what that is. Let's just have a quick look. Anything else? There's nothing else on the ball. Top Flight XL. By Spalding used to get these around about 1989 to about 1991. So that's how old that is from... If anybody knows what that is, let me know. Uh, another, I like the logo, Colorado Bell. Another Olympic related one, Atlanta 96. There's a recent Clint Eastwood film about the Atlanta bomber. And it's damn funny. It really is. The person that got accused of being the bomber was actually the hero. And um, they don't half make the FBI look like complete idiots in that film. <laughs> Hamilton's. What is Hamilton's? Anybody know what that is? Looks like an interesting logo. Forensic engineers. Interesting. All right, last few. That's some sort of medicine. A very old looking ball, that is. I'm just trying to see, is that, is that the same size as normal or is it a smaller ball? I think it's still a 1.68 ball, but um, yeah, very, very discoloured now. That would have been a white ball, but... After many decades, they start to lose their colour like that. All right, a few religious ones. Texas, is that a sports team or is that just to do with Texas? Or is that, I've got a suspicion that's a sports team. Let's just see if there's anything else. Uh, True Flight. That's a new type of golf ball to me as well. True Flight. So I've, not only when, when you buy logos, obviously you, they're on golf balls, but when you do look at all the different brands you do find some stuff that you, i've never i've never found one of those in england in my life uh steelers i think that's pittsburgh steelers i think sports team ravens some sports team baseball it's on a on a ball that's got these two bits printed on the side like that oh that looks like an american football actually pardon me yeah ravens must be some american football team uh, and the last couple this giants that's another san francisco giants is a 
American football team, if that's what that is. I'm not entirely sure. And the last one in this collection. I got this because I like the American Indian with the headdress, the feather headdress. So I got it because I like the logo. No idea about Wukon, wherever that is. So there you go, folks. 128 more logos to add to my massive collection now. I must have at least 3,000 logos by now. Next year, I'm going to lay them all out on my lawn because I'm going to need that amount of space. I'll lay out all 3,000 in a way like this and show you them all in one video, hopefully. So I have to film it quickly to get 3,000 balls in one video, but that's going to look quite epic when I lay them all out. Eventually, I may sell my entire collection. I'm open to offers. Um, don't bother lowballing me. I know exactly how much I paid. And yeah, 3,000 balls. Just think how much money that's worth. I'm not saying that I expect to get £5 per ball, etc. Like the new price of really good Titleist Pro Vs, but you know, I'm not equally, I'm not selling them for say a dollar each because it's cost me a hell of a lot more than that to get to acquire them. So, anyway, there you go. I'll also, underneath this video, I'll put a link for you to click on so that you can um, find the playlist I've got on YouTube where my other 50 or so videos are of my logo collection. So, you can have a look at my entire logo collection 50 videos. <laughs> it's probably about 50 hours of footage to see it all. But if you want to see what I've got, there you go. That'll be it. Um, I doubt I'll ever have time to type up a list because. Just think how long it would take anybody to write down 3,000 golf balls. Write down what the logo is, what it is, like the Ravens and that sports team. Explain what the logo looks like. Write down what type of golf ball um, each one is in. Write down how I acquired it. Write down the value of it. You know, it, just, it would take way too long to do. It would take 10 minutes per ball probably to come up with the list. So... Instead of doing that, I've filmed all the golf balls. So there you go. 3,000 logos, possibly for sale, if I get a decent offer. Um, anyway, I'll stop waffling. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye-bye. Don't forget, click like if you like this. Subscribe to me and have a look at the other videos. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.